praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. The Lord has spoken with me. The Lord Jehovah has spoken with me again this past night about the meeting that is coming up in Lagos, Nigeria. And in this conversation, I see a baby. I see a baby. And this baby is seated, light-skinned, I see. And uh, the right eye, I thought it was a bit protruded. I thought it had a wound or protruded, but the baby is blind. And then the Lord opens the eyes, the blind eyes of this baby. And I see the people of this baby, the parents, the guardians, the parents with the baby. And then in that conversation this past night about the meeting of Jehovah that is coming to Lagos, the meeting that is coming to 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 to, to Nigeria. Um, this baby, the eyes of this baby open, the blind eyes open, and then I decide to move them to where there is more light, so we can do the recording and so I can be able to start showing the baby a finger, two objects to see if the baby will start touching them and going for the object, holding them. So I see a big visitation of Jehovah that is coming to Lagos, Nigeria. And so when uh, when I uh, took the baby in this dream, when I took the baby in this dream, I took the baby to where there is light so that I may take the testimony of the healing of this baby. Then at that time when I'm about to take the testimony in the meeting of the Lord in Lagos, Nigeria, then at that time another woman came and stormed in a very, very big way. She stormed that session in a very mighty way. I see another woman that storms here. She storms in a mighty way. And this baby, I don't know whether she's healed, or among the last people to be healed in that meeting. And then now this woman, when I'm about to take the testimony, this woman storms in a big, big way. And the situation, so, so there is going to be a visitation of the Lord in Nigeria and Lagos. The Lord is going to visit his church in Nigeria, in Lagos. And this is going to ignite a new dispensation, a new hour into the church. And the Lord will establish the fact that the Messiah is coming. And now the church needs to prepare in this way. Through this now, the church in Nigeria will know that the Messiah is coming and they need to make deliberate attempts and efforts to prepare for the glorious coming of the Messiah. The Bible says that when this cloud of God came to them, he had removed them from Egypt by tremendous power and signs and wonders and when they reached somewhere, the cloud came to them because they needed to know how to get their way to the promise. And when the cloud stood, Moses went to the cloud and the cloud, the Lord spoke. He spoke from the cloud to Moses. He spoke to him. And he said, go tell these people that the land where I am taking them, where this cloud is taking them, where I am taking them in my glory, is not like Egypt, where they watered their fields by foot, as in a vegetable garden. And in that same book of Deuteronomy 11, he goes on to say, but however, the land where I am taking them is a land of mountains and valleys. Mountains and valleys. And he says, it is a land 
that drinks directly, drinks rain directly from heaven, a land of mountains and valleys, not like Egypt, but this land of mountains and valleys drinks rain directly from heaven. And so right away you can see that the Lord was describing two separate scenarios, two separate dispensations. In other words, the land in Egypt was a monotony. It was a monotonous land, same plain. So you looked at the plains every day. It was a boring land. It wasn't inspiring at all because you woke up, you saw the same plain. You looked at it on a daily basis, it was the same stretch, vast like that. And yet the land that this cloud was taking them to is a land of mountains and valleys that drink rain directly from Jehovah in heaven. And so that means you can right away, you can see that he was talking about a land of mountains that were green, greenery, and valleys, some kind of interrupted landscape that was very inspiring to look at. And he said, that the Lord your God cares very much for that land, that land of mountains and valleys, the promised land. And that the worship would now be straight, would be upright, would be strict, would be holy so that the heavens would remain open over that land, the mountains and valleys, because they drink rain directly from God, Jehovah in heaven. The land in Egypt, plain, monotonous land, very boring. There's nothing to inspire at all. But now here was a wonderful picture, a wonderful landscape of greenery, mountains and valleys that the Lord takes care of. The same thing is coming to happen to the church in Nigeria if they will catch this hour of visitation. The Lord is saying that the landscape in the church has been so much monotony of prosperity, prosperity, prosperity. It has been a horizontal stretch of the gospel, horizontal gospel of living well on this earth, eating well on this earth, and staying here forever, wealthy on this earth monotonous. But the Lord is now saying that where this cloud is taking the church of Christ in Nigeria is a land of mountains and valleys that drink rain directly from heaven, meaning there is open heaven, the land of open heaven. That is where he's taking the church in Nigeria to, a land that is very inspiring to the soul. When you look at it, it's so inspiring. It's not monotonous like the land of Egypt like the land of the gospel of prosperity, like the land of sin that you've seen in the church. The perpetual daily sin of immorality. The nudity of the women in the Nigerian church. That every preacher in Nigeria, when he gets up, he has to promise people things, the worldly things. It's not that land of monotony. It says this would be a inspiring, a land that inspires so much to the soul, a land of mountains and valleys, green ones, that drink rain directly from heaven, meaning interrupted. Once in a while you run into something, you run into a valley, you run into a mountain. Hmm? Oh, blind eyes have opened here. Look, we are worshiping, a creeper has walked here. Some very inspiring land that is so inspiring to the soul. May those who have ears prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah. Shalom.